All right, here's a long-awaited update video, and I have to apologize because the reason for the delay, I made a few videos since last time, and I'm just gonna give this one as an update. So uh, they, they've had four visits. No, by visits I mean appointment uh, for scheduling, not four days here, but four times where they've uh, installed new duct work, new lines, uh, and rearranged things. You can tell from the previous video this is different. So now this is the downflow. They've changed twice the flow coming out of the top of the machine. And uh, they've rearranged this three times up top and these are the gaps that they've left into the attic they were supposed to seal those now i can feel air coming out here blowing on my hand on the other side Let's see if you can even see back here uh, back here i can feel air blowing on my hand quite a bit through there and we've talked specifically about sealing things up and there's a flow issue downstairs uh, also a heat loss issue where downstairs uh, right now so we are in January and this originally was installed in March of last year so just a few months and less than a year of uh, being here and they've they've had to come out with four separate events of adding more duct work changing things around changing the the structure that they have here and they it's still not working I mean it it keeps the house in the 60s at night right now and hey maybe my wife and I can bundle up but I mean I, I don't think that there's an excuse for this to only keep the house in the 60s and barely and that's non-stop running this heater has not the furnace hasn't shut off for multiple days now and it's like I say it's barely keeping us in the 60s at night and so let me just show you what they've done after like I say four different times coming out to make it work right so all in all they've been they spent like a month at least a month all together if you count the days individually somewhere around a month here so they've changed this from flex to fixed and that's going down and now instead of using all of the existing ductwork that's down in the floor because we have a crawl space that you can't access so they're saying well maybe there is a leak downstairs now there was never ever a flow issue with our previous system at all but you can you can barely feel it flowing downstairs and so they're saying oh maybe there is a leak so since we can't tell because we can't fit under there, uh, let's just add vents upstairs. So they, this one and that one are going, uh, they go under the wall and up and over and I'll show you in a moment, but that goes to uh, rooms downstairs. There's that one that goes under uh, all the way past all this stuff that's stored and past that wall and down to the living room and the vent they put on that actually fell off it almost fell on my little girl's head uh, because it was literally just screwed into the sheetrock so these ones they go off into i'll show you here in the attic and yeah attic's all storage here but they they come up here they went up crossed over went down and one of them goes that direction to a window. This one goes over and let's come around here. One of them goes down in that room and then they came up and over instead of just going through, which is what we had talked about, is just going underneath all this stuff. But they came up and over and down into this room. And uh, yes, there's stuff we need to clean up, but I mean that... It uh, wasn't done according to the way we had discussed, but it was done. We were trying to, you know, after four four formal complaints of non-function, 
or three three formal complaints of non-function so they've they had you know made it come out four times for service calls and, and fixing the system that never worked since they installed it never worked adequately uh, they and let me see if I can get down here and get a view for you That's enough for you to see what they've done. Um, come up over here. They really just teed off and ran this all over the place. I said this is six inch. <laughs> this is just overlap. So this is six inch flex and over there it just goes down and under that wall and let's get you a view on the other side. straight over and down and the, the only issue with that one is the fact that the you know the little vac that the the vent almost hit my little girl in the head because it fell off the ceiling because it wasn't attached to anything like I say they put two screws one on each side of the vent opening you know vent kind of like this but the screws on either side went into the drywall only right at the edge of where they had cut so it wasn't attached to anything and it, it, it fell off so you know I mean my little girl's tiny she's what you know two and a half feet tall maybe so it's a long drop for a metal object with corners uh, so I'm glad it missed her or we'd have a lot bigger issues going on than, than just the fact that this brand new system is inadequate compared to the system we had had in here previously for 50 years and or was in here you know we had have not been in this house for 50 years but that system was it's from the 70s and this is you know the, the 2020s so it's 2022 now so uh, the other thing is that you know with running all the time and and it's obviously pretty expensive and they told us now we've left things here just to make sure things work before we have them before we close up this floor because it hasn't worked all this time so we want to make sure and we were we we're like okay we're just gonna suck it up and deal with whatever but I just got you know with with things with the heat barely staying in the 60s at night with the machine not shutting off not at all uh, for multiple days including that you know lack of adequate temperature and I threw some insulation over here just to try and help uh, keep things closed but I can feel cold air coming in there um, obviously from the attic but the thing is that I you know I can't close this off just to open it again every month or two because last time they were here when they made these changes it was November and here it is January the third fourth you know I mean it, it's been a month and a half and I, like I say I've just thrown a little insulation down to try and help decrease airflow between the attic and here this is the the return 
There's stuffed insulation down there because they left a big gap, and I'll show you that from below. Uh, this is the the downflow, and I just push the, put this little piece of plywood here just to have somewhere to access the attic since it's through the holidays. So there's the downflow. Now we have told them that if we need to restructure anything, if we were need to remove this wall for a bigger system, because I mentioned, hey, maybe we need a, uh, a bigger furnace. Uh, we told them that we're, we'll do that. That's okay, you know, we're okay with getting rid of the wall. But they said, no, this is gonna be enough. So here's the nice sealed area flowing up to the attic. You know, I mean, they at least it's not freezing over like <laughs> like the AC did all summer leaving us in the you know 80s 90s through the summer but we told them if because they said hey maybe you need a higher capacity furnace so we said if that's the case uh, because they said but we need more space for it we said well it's fine this wall it can be removed and we can put things the way they need to be and uh, they said no we, we won't need that and this one's going to be adequate well you know spending over three hundred dollars a month in utilities just to keep in the 60s through the winter is not adequate and like i say the system we had that was 50 plus years old or, or 50 years old in in this structure was costing half of that to run half so how is it that their new system that they've repaired you know between original install and, and extra service calls four separate times including having the engineer the service manager both come out together and individually at different occasions uh, and this is this is what they've got to offer so superior water and air and we're this, this system's located, you know, in Utah. Uh, we went through the Costco that's located in Bountiful, Utah, and that's who they assigned us to. We trusted them because of that. That was a mistake. I wish we had never had done this. We've contacted them again today to let them know about the inadequacies that I'm talking about now. We told them, hey, we tried to leave it be, but this is just not acceptable. And it's not a problem we had before making these changes. Uh, and, and really, honestly, I am penitent of having made this change at all. I wish we would have just left it alone. Uh, it was the worst decision that we've made. It's been one of the most stressful decisions that we've made with this home. And uh, m throughout this, the whole of these months, uh, we've been disrespected by the employees like I mentioned some of them have you know purposefully urinated on the floor in our bathroom and I mean like you had to take a step back a full step back and where you would have been standing as a guy to pee in the toilet that's where the puddle was bigger than the size or the size of a dinner plate so it was not on accident and they just left it there and we had cleaned the bathroom right before and I had been in there right before this person uh, went in so I know who it was I know the, when it happened I've talked to them about it and uh, the the service people also complained when they would go out to their service vehicle to get more parts or tools I could hear them talking complaining bad mouthing us like i can't believe what they want us to do using expletives things like that it's been a terrible experience and the service manager told me that i was going to have to pay for the duct work for them to redo it we told them hey we've paid you over fifteen thousand dollars for this new system that's not just, you know, a couple of cents in the bucket. You guys need to make it work because it, from the very beginning, it wasn't working right. And we went with your recommendations to do it the way you said was going to be best with the size of equipment that you told us was going to be adequate for this and an expansion of the house. And you need to make it work. 
And so finally, for making these changes and adding the ducts that come down in the ceiling that I'll show you here as we go downstairs, they didn't keep trying to make us pay for the extra duct work. But I think that that is really poor customer service. It is a lack of professionalism because we've, I mean, I pulled out the floor. That was the agreement. The, you know, the subfloor here, I said, hey, I'll do that. I'll make, give you access to anything you need. If you need more access, let me know. If this wall needs to come down, that's okay. You know, that can be done. And they, and this is what we were, what we have and we're paying for it, you know. And that's even more frustrating because we're paying the monthly payment on the financing, we are paying the extra twice as much monthly for the uh, for the utilities. Now, they also told us that their service managers said that it might be because of the leaky house it's not well insulated no this is what i'm saying our previous system that had been in this home for 50 years wasn't costing it was costing half of what we're paying we're going to pay this month in utilities so that is not a viable excuse it's an inadequate system that they've installed that we followed their recommendations for installing so let me i'm going to go downstairs so that we can get a view of what they installed this last round and I'll show you there. So here is where the old furnace was and this goes out in different directions to the vents that were in the downstairs. And now, because they were saying, hey, those are leaky, probably, since they weren't getting the airflow they needed, they've connected just the two lines that go, one to the bathroom and one to the kitchen, because there's no way they could access to add lines in the ceiling for that. So that's the original return. This is the downflow. This is the change they made in here. This is the return. And then they have added over here. Here is the vent where the vent cover fell off. I've got it sitting there. It almost. I'm doing this, but I don't want it to hit me, so I'm stopping it. Good girl. They. That's where you can see. I mean, look where they put those screws. Right through the edge. And over here, it's also just in the sheetrock, and they just fell out. I mean, the, the the vent cover fell out. My little girl was sitting on the sofa. It almost hit her, and it's just ridiculous, ridiculous. And now, coming in this room over here, they added, well, these are the vents I was showing you there on those big lines. They added that vent and that vent and then we're gonna come in to the other room and I'll show you the one more the, the other vent that they added is right over there over the window now I you know we can feel some flow here uh, bare well not really I mean you can you I can feel a difference in the temperature. Now my hand is less than a foot away from that vent and I can barely feel that there's a difference in temperature but I don't feel it pushing any air. So obviously it's pushing some but this is the frustration. This is the reason why we had waited on an update video because we were hoping to be able to give good reviews, good comments on customer service which I cannot. Uh, on a functional outcome, which I cannot. And we have, again, like I said, we have contacted them again now. We're going to see what resolution they offer. And I'll get an update after that for you eventually. I don't know how quick it will be because last time they ignored us for about a month 
before they actually came in and performed additional services to add these extra, these four extra lines. And then they cut off the, the ones that are in the floor in those same rooms. And we've tried to just be calm. We've tried to have that at work, but it's just been inadequate and really, honestly, really sad and frustrating. So that's, that's the update. That's my information. I would not by any means for any reason recommend superior water and air in this area anywhere near Bountiful, Utah for customer service reasons, for professionalism reasons, for functional reasons. As far as HVAC goes, I am 100% regretting having accepted their offer and my wife feels the same way and it's been that's that's our review it's a zero star review a negative star review if i could if i could get them to put in our old systems and give us our money back i would do it in a heartbeat and i'll give you an update as i have it oh and one one additional thing so this light and fan has not functioned since their original install and they said, well, if you pay an electrician to come out and fix it and they find it with something that we did, then we will uh, figure it out and deal with it then. Uh, otherwise, that sucks, but we can't prove it. So this here, this, this, this switch, that one is the one that should be turning it on. Uh, they worked in that area that's right in there where those ducts are. And so that's another thing. They just said, well, that sucks, basically. And that was the end of their story. Yeah, when it worked up until they worked in that area and they just aren't, aren't willing to even look into it. They, they didn't say, oh, we'll take a, you know, we'll go and look or anything. They said, well, go hire an electrician and figure it out. And if it was us, then address it then. Well, we just dropped that, all that money on everything, you know, why don't you just go in and take a look at what you did? So that's just one more, you know, negative star reason why I cannot recommend them in any good, you know, honest uh, review. So that's the reality. That's the update. If you have any questions or comments or personal experience with them, I hope you had a better experience. Uh, and I just have to share our experience because it's been, like I say, from March through January now. And... We'll keep you updated as we go along. And thanks for hanging on this long to find out the reality of what we're experiencing. So I hope you go a better way. And if you go with the Bountiful Utah HVAC through Costco, ask them to not send superior water and air to you, if that's an option at all.